55 out here this morning, so they're not in the garage. <laughs> it's pretty pleasant out here. Not windy or anything. Sun's out. Hey, buddy. Hey, sweetheart. Hi. But it's Sunday morning, and you know what that means. Paper time. It's time to walk and get the paper instead of take the unicycle and get the paper. Right. We got to blow the driveway today. I like that we. <laughs> of course. Is it everything a we? <laughs> yes. Paper and yesterday's mail, which has a box of Lego, Lego parts. Uh, how do you have Legos that don't rattle? Like well, that? you have a good shipper off eBay that packs them so they don't move. <laughs> Hi, Gray. Hey, Tux. You guys feeling frisky in this cooler air this morning? So one of the reasons Don knows about electrical stuff is because uh, back in the day you went to, where did you go? Uh, technical? Oh, I, <laughs> JP Tech, John Patterson Technical College. And you did electrical stuff there, right? Yeah, I got my degree in electronics, that's right. Right, and then of course the early years with IBM spent fixing equipment. Oh yes. Uh, added a lot of... Uh, I have to say, uh, IBM uh, was a big believer in online education. I mean, uh, I think the second day I was at IBM, they had showed me how to sign on to a quote-unquote green screen, and I was taking courses, uh, you know, remotely. Um, they had uh, student guides and lab books, and then of course the computer guided you with questions, pre-test, post-test, so you could skip. Material. So the early Khan Academy. Yeah, it, no, it was very effective. I mean, I, uh, I guess some guys used it for uh, to catch up on their sleep or something like that. I don't know, but I was young and I was really excited, uh, and still am about electronics. I always loved learning uh, technical stuff. Uh, you know, if you ask me to study poetry, I'm pretty much I'm I'm a odd zone out pretty fast. <laughs> If you get me into technical stuff teaching me, I, I'm all over that. Yeah, I'm one of the persons where we'd have to take the online courses at IBM and it would be all I could do to stay awake. Of course, it wasn't about electronics, though. Right. It was about uh, how to be a good team member and, you know, those more uh, artsy right. things. Yes. But so Don was watching Big Clive this morning. What's the name of his channel? BigClive.com. Big, yeah, huh. so he was taking apart a one of those... Things you put in your car in case your 12 volt battery's dead that you can use to jump your own car now. Those things that they have that you so you don't need another person yeah. anymore. <laughs> yeah, they use lith one of the advantages of lithium ion is they're small, lightweight, uh, relative to lead acid, but they have a very high uh, power delivery. They can deliver a lot of power for brief shorts of time. So, you know, you can have a, a battery pack a little bit bigger than your phone and put. Uh, jumper clips uh, to hook up to the, your car battery and it'll actually start your your car when you're if your battery's a little dead but they always have this little red box or a box on one of the leads and I knew there had to be diodes in that box uh, but I didn't particularly know what else or what if there was anything else like maybe that was a fuse or something there because I've never I don't actually own one I've never actually used one of those I've just seen them Anyway, the bottom line is a bunch of Scotsky diodes in parallel, uh, you know, to hopefully handle the current and uh, not melt. Yeah, so just to back up a step, Big Clive, he takes apart electronic equipment right. to show people what's on the inside of it. And a lot of times, because his mom likes LED colored lights, right. he takes apart things yeah. I care about or I'm interested in or want Don to go build me because sometimes he right. builds things. He takes apart these cheap, inexpensive yeah. Chinese things he gets at the dollar store or whatever and then he builds really cool stuff for his mom with these lights I've seen right. him do it a few times he repurposes things. so I pay attention when he does that stuff and then Don pays attention when he's really talking nitty-gritty name two or three other things he's taken apart that were interesting oh well he's taken apart like uh, these um, LED drivers you know the ones for the actual incandescent you know you buy these light bulbs it at the home store for you know then you screw them into your sockets and it's like well how do they work well they have a little led driver in there uh, most of them are capacitive droppers but some of them are actually little miniature switch mode power supplies 
Yeah, so if he wants to do a maker project, he figures out what thing he can buy at the dollar store that has the electronic part he needs in it, and then he pulls that out, and he, like you said, he repurposes it or whatever. Yeah. He's also big into lighting as far as uh, theater lighting. He actually works for um, uh, some type of uh, industrial company that does uh, lighting projects. Like if you're going to have an outdoor soccer event uh, and you need portable lights set up or something like that, uh, they do a lot of Christmas decorations. They get hired by companies to come in and do really very elaborate Christmas decorations. And of course, they've gone to LEDs. So he knows a lot about these RGB uh, LED things of, of that nature. Yeah, and Don watches him all the time and gleans even more electronics knowledge, uh, at well, least at what's inside certain components. Yeah, well, he's a uh, very soft-spoken uh, under easy to understand and you know for whatever reason he, he's he's kind of monotonous or monotone but he doesn't put me to sleep yeah so um yeah so the thing you were just watching michelle we talked michelle into getting one of them so instead of having to call like AAA to come jump their car if it's dead in the morning the one time in the last year they had a dead car they hooked up that uh battery and were able to jump their own car at the house right and the other advantage to lithium ion is that they uh they generally can be stored for quite a while without self-discharging. Right. And, um, yeah, it seems like there was one other thing I was going to say, but I can't remember what yeah. it was. Now I was going to, oh, I was going to circle. Yeah, God, please. No, save me from the batteries. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, we got a, a lot of, um, middle school, high school kids that watch and, you know, if you're interested in learning about electronics, YouTube channels like this, they have a lot of really useful information. And I guess as I watched it, I was thinking today's kids don't know how to fix things like some right. of you old school guys and programs like this could really help them learn a few things. That's yeah. what I was thinking as you were watching it. Yeah, I, like I have said before, I, I, I could usually take things apart and generally speaking, could put them back together and they'd work. I could fix more than I could tear up. <laughs> I agree for afternoon sure. afternoon now and Don and I have had breakfast and slept in and enjoyed watching our video and a bunch of other videos and I'm now headed across Fuquay, the north side of Fuquay to uh, the house of one of the kids that's in the Lego League team so that I can go over some stuff with his mom. Uh, she's going to pitch in and help out on a few things which is good because our competition is quickly approaching. We've had about 12 to 18 hours less time this year um, to get started on all of the things that we have to complete. And we've got two teams instead of one. And um, there's just a lot of stuff going on that's making it hard for us to have, let's say, the best materials possible going into the tournament. That doesn't mean that the kids won't learn a bunch, though. They're going to learn a lot and have a good time no matter what. So, But still, I want us to be as prepared as possible. So I'm going to go um, talk with the other mom. And then this afternoon, I've got to get back a building on that robot some, the one that I wanted to have ready to go for Tuesday. So I've got a busy day. <laughs> Even though it's a Sunday, there is no rest for uh, us moms sometimes. I'm really sorry I didn't put the Teslify trip summary at the end of yesterday's video. Um, I guess I was just too tired and forgot about it. But I will put a couple of those numbers at the end of today's video. A couple of the couple of uh, screenshots out of Teslify. We did not get good efficiency, and we think that was mostly due to the heat. Um, on the way back, we were going uphill. It was pretty cold, not super cold, but pretty cold. Um, so maybe the tires on the Performance Model 3, you know we're not expecting maybe quite as good range as if we had had the uh, aero wheels and the regular tires. So, um, but anyway, I'll put up those numbers. Uh, not upsetting to us in any way, just, you know, we look, we study, we think about it. Um, we just want to get to know this car and how much range we need to get places. Um, so kind of benchmarking a little bit for us. We know what to expect from Ruby and we're just trying to develop what we need to expect from Sapphire. Also, um, I looked up the glass station and the courses that they have there and it looks like 
a three hour like introduction to glass making or come and make a Christmas bulb or a gazing globe type bulb is about a $90 course, $88, something like that. So I, I thought it would be cool if Don did the class and I watched and we had fun with it. There aren't any openings right now, so I don't know if it'll ever work out or not, but um, it seemed pretty reasonable to me to have you know, get to learn or do that kind of a skill for that fee. So it was, uh, if you didn't, couldn't, you know, some of the audio you could hear when Don and I watched, but it wasn't the best audio ever. But ECU, East Carolina University, is the one that runs the glass station and does the coursework and that kind of thing. So I agree. It takes every kind of people. So look who's home. It's Johnny. We missed you. I miss you too. But I enjoyed the couple of pictures I got that showed that you were having a really good time. So that was good. So what was your favorite thing? Everything. Everything. Okay. <laughs> uh, you told me that the haunted house was scarier than the haunted train? Yes. But that doesn't mean the ghost train was bad. Yeah, just that this, the haunted house was scarier. And mm -hmm. uh, Miss Sarah said, unfortunately, you guys had a good bit of rain. Yep. Yeah, that's a real bummer. So... Well, I'm glad you had an awesome time. I'm excited for you about it, and I'm glad you're home. And unfortunately, I'm being the mom, and that means it's time to work on the poem. And you might notice in that Google Doc, it's blank. So what's this poem supposed to be about? Pull up the rubric. <laughs> oh, Using poetry careers. and art contest, huh? Using careers to break, break barriers, barriers, empower lives, and achieve equality. Equity. Equity. That's not equality, it's equity. Huh. All right, well, you get poem writing. I'll be in the garage working on our robot. If you need some help, come get me. Well, I've been working for three hours, and I do mean three hours standing up out here in the garage. Thank goodness, um, the vinyl coin floor it's not too hard to stand on but I got the claw attachment built and this gearbox goes on the back of this I'm missing two parts and then I got the robot mounted into the shell and um, the little arm attachment put on and this this guy is ready to mount these little pins on the back they go in there after I put these two pieces together and um, I have not wired it yet. There's no wires. But um, it was excellent progress and just a little bit, I keep on saying that, but just a little bit more to go. Mm -hmm.